Hola amiga, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, ako po ay magtitry ng Korean makeup look. Ang mga colors na gagamitin ko ay yellow and orange plus glitter shades. So without further ado, let's begin! I just wanted to try something new for me today and I'm gonna be using White Rice Facial Mask at dahil Korean siya, hindi ko maintindihan so nanood muna ako sa YouTube on how to use it. So after cleaning your face and hands, we need to massage the mask before using to spread out the essence and absorb all the goodness of essence. And after opening, arrange the mask properly before applying it to your face. And make sure that the sheet mask is touching your skin, including your chin, to smooth out all the creases so that you don't leave any skin behind. Wait for about 15 to 20 minutes so that you can get all the nutrients and hydration from the mask. To do this, you can set your alarm. So wait, there's more. Don't throw the sachet right away because there's still a bunch of goodness of leftover essence. Me, I use it in my neck, arms, hands. Or you can use it any part of your body that needs hydration. And now it's time to chillax! And halfway through, I try to turn over the other side of the sheet because there's still essence on the other side. Sayang eh. And now it's time to remove the sheet and I gently tap my face and ready for the next step. Next step is to moisturize my face by applying soothing gel from Lux Organics with 99.85% of aloe vera and massage ko siya sa aking face. At dahil Korean ang ina-achieve kong look, Ginamit ko itong Yoyoso to prime my face. It absorbs quickly and concentrated with pure gold and great base for makeup. And to moisturize and prepare my lips for the lipstick that I'm going to wear along the way, I use this Lucas Papau ointment. So I will grow my brows first and gumamit muna ako ng O2O foundation stick before ako mag-apply ng brow gel. Tapos blend ko lang siya using Kabuki flat brush. And to draw my desired shape, ginamit kitong EV Advance Brow Define with Puddle Brush. And to add more volumes and thickness to my brows, I use this Tinted Brow Gel from Sassy Lady. It is a smudge-proof, long-lasting, and waterproof. And to clean the borders of my brows, I use High Coverage Concealer from Sanye and I also apply it on my eyelid to prime it before applying eyeshadow. And to avoid from caking my concealer, I use Nichito Final Powder in the shade Creamy Glow to set it. And the palette that I'm going to use is from Sunset Dream and this is my first shade. So spread ko lang siya sa aking crease, especially sa big corner ng aking eyes. I just keep on adding the shades until I'm satisfied with it. Tapos dust ko lang with a clean brush yung upper part para walang sharp edges. And then I add a little more of the shades, extending to the lower lid in the V corner. And then I use the adjacent shade, which is yellow, and put it in the inner corner of my eyes, extending to the middle part to blend from the previous shade. Mm -hmm. 
Next one is the Golden Glitter Shade. It has a white pigment, but when you apply it, it doesn't show up. And it's perfect just the way I want it. And I'm just using my fingertips to apply it slowly but surely. And then I'm going to use this brown shade for my upper lash line. I'm just going to smudge it very thinly, just like an invisible eyeliner. And for my face, I use O2004 Velvet Mud Foundation Stick. Tapos blend ko lang siya using Dump Sponge from Folklore. I just dub it into my face to stay in place ang foundation and to avoid some striking lines. And to highlight some areas into my face, I use this high coverage concealer from Sadie in the shade 02 Fair Warm. It also hides some unwanted pigments like in the areas of my eyes and around my mouth. Then blend ko lang siya using the same blending sponge. And to add some warmth into my face, I use this waterproof concealer from Sadie in the shade 08. I place it in my forehead, cheekbone, underneath my jawline, and sides of my nose with Kabuki Flat Brush. And to avoid from caking my concealer, I use Nichido Final Powder in the shade Creamy Glow and I also place it all over my face. And to finish my eye look, I apply the first shade that I use to my lower lid from outer corner to the third part, leaving the inner corner behind. Then I decided to have a winged liner, so I extend the brown shades and smudge it upward outside the B shape. And to make the end sharp or pointed, I clean the border with concealer. And then I use this shade again for my inner corner. And to add more thickness to my natural lashes, I use Caroline Mascara. I'm using lashes from Polash in Dam. Then I use this shade to add some sparks to my inner corner of my eyes. And from Contour and Blush Palette from Detail, I use this shade to add more definition to my forehead, cheekbone, jawline, and nose. And I want my blush to be lighter this time, so I use this shade. Then I use this shade again to highlight my brow bone, nose, cheeks, and upper lip. And for my lips, I use this crayon slip butter from HBC in Buttery Pig Pink. I apply it all over my lips. Then followed by crayon slip pastel in Shout Red also from HBC and I apply it at the middle part of my lips.
that's it for me guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a big thumbs up. Don't forget to tap the subscribe button and hit the notification bell para updated kayo sa mga susunod ko pang vlogs. And if you have anything in your mind, please let me know by commenting down below. Thanks for watching. I love you so much. See you next time. Bye!